Hi, I hope you're doing all right. Today we are going to have some fun with this almost 10 year old white MacBook. It has a Core 2 Duo 2.4 GHz CPU. It has 4 GB of uh, RAM. And we are going to try to install the latest Mac OS on this one. But before we do, we are going to replace the hard drive with an SSD. And on the older computers from Apple, it's easy. You only need one screwdriver. You have to turn it around. And you have to unscrew all of the eight screws from the bottom case. So while I do that, you are welcome to subscribe to my YouTube channel or click like on the video. If you do that, it helps increase the video's placement in the search results and it actually helps a small channel like this. So thank you for that. So with all of the screws out, you just take your finger underneath and you just pop the bottom case off and place it to the side. Now you see everything, you see the CPU fan, the logic board, memory and the hard drive, which we are going to replace. But before you do anything, you should disconnect the battery connector. And I forgot to do that in this video. We take our screwdriver again. And we all unscrew that little bracket. Just lift the bracket uh, out. Now we can get to the hard drive. Just uh, try to wiggle it out of its compartment. Be careful so you don't uh, damage the uh, cable, the uh, SATA cable. Lift the hard drive carefully out, but not too much so you strain the cable and just gently wiggle the uh, SATA cable from the uh, SATA connector on the hard drive. Just take uh, each side. And there's uh, there's the uh, old hard drive and the connectors. Turn it the right way, it will look the same on the SATA drive. So the cable goes in the same way. Just take the cable and plug it in and push uh, gently on each uh, side. As you can see on the original hard drive, there is uh, some uh, studs you can unscrew and uh, uh, insert on the uh, SSD if you want. I didn't do it uh, this time. They are used for dampening vibrations from spinning hard drives and to keep the hard drive in place. Uh, try to wiggle the SSD into its uh, compartment without damaging the SATA cable. The bracket uh, doesn't really have a, a function right now. Uh, the studs you saw on the uh, drive we took out are a part of uh, keeping uh, the vibrations uh, low but since we are installing an SSD now it uh, it's it won't vibrate
Now it's uh, just a matter of attaching the bottom case again. And after that we are going to use a special tool to get Mac OS Mojave installed on this unsupported computer. To install Mac OS Mojave on an unsupported Mac, we need a tool that patches the original install files so that it can boot from a USB drive and install on your computer. You will find a link to this site in the video description and I recommend you read everything before you start the install. Uh, the site lists uh, supported computers and it also shows you some expected behavior and it also shows you computers that doesn't work with this patch. In our case we are using the MacBook 7.1 and it should work pretty good with this uh, patch. Further down the page lists things you need. You need a copy of the macOS Mojave installer app, which you can download from the App Store, from uh, a Mac that supports Mojave, or you can also use the built-in downloading feature from the tool. You also need a USB drive that have at least 16 gigabytes, and you need to download the tool. So now we are going to prepare our USB drive. We open up Disk Utility and I apologize this is in Norwegian. And uh, view all devices, click on the top. Do not click on partition. That's wrong. Click on Come on, delete and give it a name. Select macOS extended and quid partition table. And then click delete. When it's done, you can go out of disk utility and we will go and download the patcher tool. Open up the file. I put the patcher in my applications folder. I'm not sure if it's needed, but I uh, did it. And since the application isn't signed, macOS doesn't want to open it because it's from an unknown developer. You have to right click, select open, and then select open. To get around that. It tells me that this uh, machine supports macOS Mojave, but I am not going to install on this machine, so we are going to find the install file. Just click the icon, go to applications, and it should be there somewhere. Install macOS Mojave, open, select the USB USB key and press the start operation. Type in your password. You can click verbose output to see some status messages. And now we wait. This uh, may take a while. When the USB key is finished, you insert it into your Mac. Start it up while holding down the Alt or Option key and start up from the USB key. The speed is increased here so we don't have to wait that long to boot up. But as you can see we have booted up in the Mac OS Mojave installer on a computer that natively doesn't uh, support it. Now we open up Disk Utility to prepare the SSD we installed earlier to get it ready to install macOS Mojave. So what I do is I view all devices, I click on the top and I click delete, type in a name, and in this case it's Macintosh HD. 
but you can decide for yourself. I'm using a macOS uh, extended this time and the GUID partition table. I tried using APFS earlier, but I didn't get it to work. Close disk utility when it's finished and go and install. Select the hard drive you just created and press install. Now we are going to wait for a while and uh, while we wait I will speed up the video so you don't have to wait 15 minutes. When the installer is finished the computer wants to reboot. We have to remember to reboot into the USB key once again because we are going to use the tool there to install some basic drivers and settings that enables uh, macOS Mojave to boot on this computer. So we reboot and we hold down option or the alt key one is again and you now select the USB key again and boot from that one. Now you should locate the Mac OS post install tool in the list there and start it up. It should automatically detect your Mac but if it doesn't just select your model in the list and select the drive you have installed to the Mac OS Mojave drive and the patch when the patching is done, you can restart into your newly installed system and start setting it up. Remember to remove the USB key so you don't accidentally start up from that one. Remove the USB key and let it start up from the internal hard drive. If everything is working, it should now start up in Setup Assistant where you will be able to connect to a network, set up your user account and log into iCloud. In addition, if you selected it under your uh, installation, you will get a patch updater tool that updates the patches that makes uh, macOS Mojave run on your Mac. It's under uh, the Applications Utilities folder and if you don't have this tool, you just go to that website again and download it. You have to enter your password and it should install everything it needs. It should work fine. So I activated the dark mode just to show you that I'm actually running macOS Mojave, but we can also see here uh, all the specifications on this Mac. Even though this Mac is pretty slow by today's standards, regular office use like surfing the web works surprisingly well. If we venture into YouTube, and let's see if we can uh, take a look at the latest uh, X-Men trailer. It loads pretty fast. So right after setting up your new Mac, it will do some uh, housekeeping. Things like uh, indexing Spotlight, uh, doing some uh, work with uh, iCloud, maybe downloading files, downloading bookmarks, synchronizing your iCloud keychain, yeah, and just some general housekeeping. What you see now is uh, activity monitor, and in uh, the bottom, bottom graph there is uh, the CPU usage. As you can see now, the CPU usage is pretty high, and that's because it, uh, well, it does some stuff in the background. Uh, I recommend let it sit for a few hours, maybe an hour or so, let it kind of sync up and after that you can uh, see if it works as it uh, should.
So it's been sitting for about an hour and as you can see the graph is kind of returning to uh, normal. It's been uh, doing all its all of its uh, housekeeping and it uh, should work fine. The last thing uh, we are going to do is to just to check if uh, Netflix uh, works. And uh, for this test I had to download Chrome. I couldn't get it to work with uh, Safari. But as you can see Netflix also works just fine on this uh, computer. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy this little tutorial. Uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button or click like, share the video with others. And uh, until next time, take care.